Good morning on this frosty Saturday morning. We're here today with Hunter and Fred and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Hunter's ability to understand and respond to his formal on leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Hunter's gonna come home with his own training equipment and you're gonna be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now he is sitting very nicely at Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Hunter heal. At this point, Hunter has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking him. Not forging ahead or lagging behind and each time that you stop your feet, he has been taught to sit without being told to wait for his next command. So if you're taking him for a walk and you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street, he should be sitting nicely and waiting for his next command. So this makes walking him a pleasure. You want to keep that head up off the ground. You want to keep him as much as possible focused on you. And the next command that Fred's going to demonstrate is the sit stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise it is a one word command. Your homework will be to lengthen out the amount of time and the distance that you can go and him still hold it. You're going to work up to a five or a three minute sorry long sit stay. When Fred returns back to him he walks all the way around him as an additional distraction back to right where they started and they take off healing again. Hunter's not one of these boxers that loves doing obedience. He does it because he has to, but not necessarily because he wants to. Good boy, Hunter. Nice sit. And Fred encourage him, is encouraging him, talking to him. He's going to leave him in another sit, stay. Turn to face him. And this time he's going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. So you do use his name, you use a happier tone, and he should come right in front and sit. No more jumping all over everybody. And if you're having company or you have friends coming over, put him on a leash and make him sit and don't allow your friends to touch him until you have him under control. So he learns that not only can he not jump on you, but he can't jump on anybody. Nice sit. Stay. And then Fred is going to demonstrate that come on command again. Now I know a little bit about boxers because I used to breed them and Hunter won't lay down outside. It's too cold on his belly and he has no hair. So we're going to be taking him in the living room or the puppy playroom as we like to call it and demonstrate his ability to lay down on command. So we'll be right back.